I would describe it as like a head rush when you kind of stand up too quickly, but in a good way. It's kind of something that um, you want to chase after a little bit. Joe Strain says he never planned on vaping, but at the age of 18 in college, it was just part of the social culture. I remember it was all around me, a lot of kids juuling. And after he tried it once, he says it was hard to stop. Leaving the room at a at like a family gathering or something to go hit it or using the bathroom. So it didn't feel addicting, but it kind of felt like I was looking for a, a way to go over um, and use it, just not in public. After a few years, he quit vaping and hasn't looked back. While it's still a habit for many teenagers across the country, new data suggests less young people are taking it up. The CDC shows middle and high school vaping rates have dropped from 14% to 10% in the last year. And here in Utah, the Department of Health and Human Services says youth vaping rates are also declining from 12% in 2019 to 7% now. If the youth are going down in their usage, then potentially they're not going to be addicted and won't convert even potentially to the cigarettes as they get older. So it's very exciting. Dr. Dixie Harris says it's great news when it comes to the health of Utah youth and their lungs. Since it hasn't been studied as much as cigarettes, it's hard to know the extent of how bad vaping is for you. But she says it can't be good. We all are very aware about the dangers of pollution, air quality, that, well, vaping is the same idea. You're putting foreign materials into your lungs, potentially could damage your lungs. Tobacco Prevention and Control Program Manager Braden Ainsworth attributes the decrease largely to legislation limiting youth access and effective anti-vaping marketing. In 2020, there was a lot of uh, legislative action and policy work that we were doing, and it's great to see that um, those things are paying off. The ultimate goal, he says, is getting the numbers closer to zero. Joe's advice for people struggling. If you start using it, I'd say try to find an alternative, try to get off it. There are better things to spend your money on. In Salt Lake City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.